Hi, let's discuss maintaining the hip property. Hip property means parental dominance property. For maintaining parental dominance property, we need to call max CPFI procedure that I will discuss next. So for max CPFI procedure, input is RA and index I. On particular, that index I node, we need to hipify and it will assume that its left subtree and right subtree are already in max hip. Maybe that particular node is smaller than its children, so it is violating the max hip property. We may need to swap that node with its children. So max hipify lets the value at A of 5 float down and its children go off in the max shift so that subtree rooted at index i over the max shift property. Let's discuss the max shift if I procedure for it input is r a and index i l equals to left of i r equals to right of i r means right child index l means left child index if l less than a hip size a hip size means number of node in that hip so if L less than hip size and A of L value greater than A of I, the largest will be L, else largest will be I. Again, you need to check right side. So if R less than A hip size and A of R value greater than A of largest, largest will be R. And if largest is not equals to I means largest may be its left child or right child then we need to exchange a of i with a of largest after that again we will call max if i a and largest let's discuss one example the action of max if i a2 is the ra index is 2 where a hip size is 10 so this is a tree we need to call max if i a of 2 Means you need to call this. So this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 are the index. A hip size equals to 10 means maximum number of node equals to 10. Now we will call A 2. Then L will be left of I means L equals to 4. R will be right of I means R equals to 5. If L less than A hip size is 4 less than equals to 10, yes. Then A of L, A of L means 14 greater than 4. Yes, it satisfies so largest will be L means largest will be 4. As it satisfies, so we will not execute the else part. Next, we will check the right child. If 5 less than equals to 10, yes, and A of R is 7 and A of largest is 14. Is 7 greater than 14? No. So we'll skip this part. Then if largest is not equals to i, yes, largest is not equals to i. i value is 2 while largest value is 4. So exchange a of i with a of largest. a of i is 4, a of largest is 14. We need to exchange these two nodes. 4 will come in 14 place and 14 will go in 4 place. So this 4 will float down. Now after exchange we will get this. Again we need to call max if we find a of largest. Means we need to call max if we find a and 4. Now i value equals to 4. Its left child index is 8. Right child index is 9. Is 8 less than 10? Yes. Then a of l means 2 value greater than 4? No. We will check the else part. So else largest i. Next, we'll check the right child. Is 9 less than or equal to 10? Yes. A of R is 8. Is 8 greater than 4? A of largest means A of I. So, is 8 greater than 4? Yes. So, largest will be R means largest will be 9. If largest not equals to I, largest is not equals to 4. So, exchange A of I with A of largest. We will exchange this to 4 will come 8 plus and 8 will go 4 plus. Now after exchange we will get this. Next you can call max if we find a of 9 but as it don't have any child so we cannot compare its left child and right child. So here we will stop as it is a left. 
Now after max simplify f2, we got this heat. Now this is a heat. Every node value is greater than its child value. Now what will be running time of max simplify? Running time can be maximum of its height and a tree height is log of n. So max simplify running time is order of log n. And its recurrence relation is t of n less than equals to t of 2n divide 3 plus theta of 1. If we we'll solve this recurrence then by master theorem case 2 we will get running time as order of log n or simply you can say order of height as height is log n. So max simplify running time is order of log n. Let's solve an exercise. This question was asked in Corman book. So illustrate the operation of max simplify a3 on a RA, this is a RA given, we need to do max simplify A of 3. Now on RA is given, first we need to create the tree in level order. So 27, then 17 and 3 will be 27 child. Here I am writing the index. If we will write in RA format, this will be index 1, 2, 3 like this. Next 16, 13 will be 17 child. Next 10, 1 will be 3 child. Next 5, 7 will be 16 child. Then 12 and 4 will be 13 child. Next 8 and 9 are 10 child. And 0 is 1 child. So this is a binary tree. But it is not a heap as it is not satisfying the parental dominance property. Now we need to do max simplify A3 means this is our i. We need to do max simplify of this node. So we will call max simplify a3. Now what is its left child index? Left child index is 6. Simply you can multiply 3 with 2 and right child index will be 3 multiplication 2 plus 1. So l is 6 and r 7. Next we need to check is l less than a hip size. What is hip size? Last node index is 14. So, hip size is 14. Is 6 less than 14? Yes. Then A of L. A of L means 10 value greater than 3. Yes. So, now largest will be 6. Next, we will check the right child. Right child is 1. We will compare 1 with largest means is 1 greater than 10? No. So, largest will be same. That is index 6. Next, we need to exchange A of 3 with A of 6. A of i and A of largest. Largest is 6. So, we need to exchange these two. 3 and 10 value. After exchange, we will get 10 here and 3 here. Next, we need to call max simplify A 6. A largest and largest is 6. So, we need to call max simplify A 6. Now this is our i, l will be its left child, r will be its right child. So l is 12 and r is 13. Next is l less than a hip size, yes 12 is less than 14. And a of l greater than a of i is 8 value greater than 3, a of l is 8 and a of i is 3. Is 8 greater than 3? Yes. So largest will be l means index 12. Next we will check right child. Is r less than hip size? Yes 13 is less than 14 and a of r greater than a of largest. So a of 13 is 9, a of largest, a of 12 is 8. Is 9 greater than 8? Yes. So when yes largest value will change. Now new largest is right means it is 13. So, right child index is 13. Next, we need to exchange A of i with A of largest. Means you need to exchange A of 6 with A of 13. We will swap these 3 and 9. 9 will come 3 plus and 3 will come 9 plus. So, after calling max simplify procedure, we simplify this tree. Now, this right part is a hip. Left part was already hip, so we can say this is a hip. In today's lecture, I discussed max simplify procedure with two examples. In next lecture, I will discuss building a hip. 
if this lecture is helpful for you please like and subscribe thank you